Fora TV. The world is thinking. It's called The Benefit of the Doubt. I'll read about a page of it here. The number 64 bus stops at St. Peter's, so it's always crammed with pilgrims or suckers, depending on your point of view. A happy hunting ground for pickpockets. Mallon was not a pilgrim, or by his own reckoning, a sucker. His estranged wife was Swiss Italian. He spoke the language fluently and came often to Rome on agency business and was on the 64 that day, a thief's hand in his pocket, only because he had an appointment near the Vatican and got caught in a flash summer downpour with no cabs in sight. The bus was packed with wet, steamy people. They swayed into one another at the stops and turns and it was during one of these mashups that Mallon felt the hand casing his rear pockets, both empty. His billfold, passport tucked inside, was buttoned into the breast pocket of his suit jacket. The touch was heavy, crude. Before he could turn and give the thief a warning look, the hand slid into his right front pocket. The blatancy of the move was astonishing, executed with no more finesse than if Mallon himself had done it, diving for some change. The hand went in, and damn if it didn't stay in. This pocket was empty too, but the hand seemed unwilling to accept the fact. <laughs> Mallon became curious as to just how long this could go on. There was a lulling detachment in observing such ineptitude at work, a safe, dreamy amusement. The air was warm, swampy. The bus stopped to take on still more passengers, and the thief was pressed up against Mallon's back. His hand continued to burrow around like a mouse nosing for crumbs. <laughs> right. Right.